because this deck is extender heavy. What's up, everybody? This is Brian back with another deck profile. What do we have for you today? Math Max. So, first I'm going to get into the extenders. Here we have Sigma. Uh, Sigma, just specials for free. Basically, if you have no monsters or extra monsters, then just a free summon. Next, you have Addition. Vision, addition is basically you just target a monster, get a free summon, and they also get boosted by 1,000. Pretty simple stuff. Subtraction, same thing. You can target your opponent's monster or your monster, uh, negate it by 1,000, and you get to special it. So those are your extenders for the most part. Uh, and then I also run triple exceed. That's also a good extender here too. Uh, gets you pr pretty much two free cards. Um, next, uh, we'll get into the normal summons. So for your normal summons, you have two Nabla and then multiplication. Um, so Nabla pretty much is your means to get multiplication out or Nabla is also your means to get out diameter, which is your free negate whenever you see summon or get in your extra deck. Um, and your final... I gotta, I gotta say though, out of all the math mix, I think I like his art the best. He, his art is the best and it's a shame they gave him like the common treatment, which is a shame because everything else is super. Um, you run two board as well as just a generic normal since you get an extra normal by paying a thousand. Uh, just a means to kind of extend when you kind of need it. Um, and then I run a small like uh, coder or code, like code talker engine, the three micro coder. And the micro coder is just a means to allow you to summon into pretty much any code talker you want. Transcode, code talker. Uh, code talker inverted just any code talker you want for free um, I'll use by using it in your hand for as a link summon and um, You know once it's a grave you can add any sign at spell or trap you want uh, Based off your link summon and then I even run code radiator just in case I'm going second And I main it it's basically a free imperm and your opponent pretty much can't respond to it sometimes uh, Depending how you chain block with it. So it's pretty much just a free negate um, next we'll get into spells so Two pot, just want to make the deck more consistent. Equation, making the deck more consistent. Uh, upstart, just another draw. Uh, three signet, just making the deck more consistent. Uh, Billion Blade is kind of a spice card. Um, it's really not that good in this deck, but sometimes it can be good on like the going second. Um, if you're playing like a floodgate deck or a deck that just wants to like kind of beat you down, something like Monarchs or something, you can equip that to a monster and just pretty much beat over it and then go go for game uh, once you beat over that monster. Uh, spells, two subtraction or super factorial. Um, this is your revolt in the deck. Uh, pretty much just a free means to uh, just screw your opponent over. You basically get this dude out, which is the most important thing, that guy. This guy allows you to pretty much uh, send everything your opponent has on the board and in their hand all with all the th three materials you, uh, you detach. And if you use Diameter as part of his uh, his summon, then he also gets an Omni Negate. So it's pretty busted. And then finally, we'll do the three Imperm just to have a hand trap in the deck. This deck like hates having too many hand traps because this deck has like no means of starters or extension other than just drawing into a bunch of them so you just have to at least settle for this because if you go second then you can just drop this on an omni negate is, is imperm like up there in price anymore um yeah it's dropped a lot because uh this is like we, we just had it in the structure deck the cyber cyber dragon stuff uh, okay. structure deck so it should be around the ten dollar mark so oh, okay. this isn't too bad and finally the sign at conflict this is what you'll be adding with your coder when you're extending um, so once you use this to go into a, a code talker link uh, effect, add this from your deck to hand. If you already have this in hand, you can add mining. But that's pretty much the deck. And just for the extra deck, let's see what we got here. So, so we'll start with just the main means to combo, uh, disciple and devotee. So. Um, this just allows you to tribute a uh, co-linked uh, co monster, and since this is co-linked tributed for its effect, you get to draw a card, and on resolution, you get to summon two tokens, but you can't make a monster higher than Link 2. But it's just a means to combo and get all your math mech pieces in the grave for super fact. And then, let's see, uh, what's next? 
Um, just some other general things you can run. You can run Link, Link Rebo for the going second build. So, you free extender, let's say you extend with this Sigma. Just go and dis immediately. Your opponent will try to maybe negate with a trap or something or activate a trap. You can just use this as a means to protect yourself going second. Um, let's see. Do you want to just run through the extra there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Cyber's Wicked. This is just the main means to get your tuner out. Um, Code Talker Inverted allows you to extend from hand for free. Code Talker Generic, just making sure I have a target for uh, my Signet spell or Signet uh, monsters. Transcode for going into Axis Code. Um, Splash Mage for going into Axis Code. <laughs> Axis Code. IP for more interruption. Underworld for IP interruption. And here's the Math Mech. Uh, XYZ, so adding from deck to hand and sending and then final sigma just your otk card pretty much if you don't have access code that's pretty much it okay well that's math folks hit like and subscribe catch on the flip side